What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sabrina Talks. I'm Sabrina. If you're new, if you're not, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Um, today on Sabrina Talks, we are going to be talking about me, quite frankly. <laughs> this week, I wanted to do like a get to know me and get to know my makeup routine because I always like to put effort into my makeup whenever I do my previous videos. So I want to give you all a little insight on how I get my face to be like this. So if you would like to know some facts about me and just see what my makeup routine is like, please keep on watching. Let's get this makeup routine on and pop in. Now I'm coming to you with a bare face. Obviously, I just got some like moisturizer and some sunscreen because yes, black people need to wear sunscreen. Let's destroy that myth. We need to wear sunscreen. We not immune. The sunscreen I specifically use is this one called Black Girl Sunscreen. One because, you know, I am a melanated girl. I use this sunscreen for two reasons. One, because it's black owned and, you know, we gotta support our black people. And two, because it's fragrance free and I got sensitive skin and I can't just be putting anything on my skin. So, Anything that's fragrance free, the better. It's also infused with jojoba and avocado, moisturizing things. It's also like, it's a sunscreen and moisturizer, so you can just use this as like your moisturizer if you need it, but I double dose because I got dry skin. The third reason I buy this sunscreen is because this don't leave no white cast. You know how like in some other sunscreens, you know, you put it on you all of a sudden looking like Casper the Ghost. You all of a sudden looking like you haven't moisturized in 16 days. Mm-mm. You don't get that with this. Sunscreen aside, the first step in my makeup routine is always my eyes. More often than not, I'm trying to do like an eye look. I'm trying to do something creative with my eyes. So I always usually start with that because one, it usually takes the longest to do and two, it always ends up leaving, you know, like eyeshadow dust all over my face. And if my face is already covered with foundation, I don't want to have to try to deal with that nonsense. So we always start off with my eyes. We're going to prime my eyes. We're going to use the Milani conceal and perfect i don't know if that's going to focus on this but it's a milani conceal and perfect concealer i have the shade warm chestnut and we're just going to put a little daby dabs on our eyelids because if you notice my eyelids are slightly darker than the rest of my face so i always need to kind of get it back to where my skin what like shade my skin is as i blend out my concealer let me tell you about me because this is also a get to know me um, so I'm Sabrina, obviously, if you couldn't tell by my channel name and the fact that I say hi, I'm Sabrina every time I start my videos. Um, I am 25 years old, you know, perfect time for a quarter life crisis. Your 20s are not all fun and games like they like to tell you it is, but you know, a nice little quarter life crisis happens here and there. For, uh, my eye look today, we're just gonna do like a real natural eye look because when I ain't going nowhere and two I don't got time to try to do an intricate eye look on camera because that's mm -mm, that's gonna take too much time so we're only gonna use about two palettes today the first palette we're using is this makeup revolution and Patricia bright palette this one is the rich in color palette she also has another one called rich in life that's more like neutral and natural um, but this one as you can tell is wonderfully beautiful and colorful and I'm very much a colorful eyeshadow kind of girl so this was right up my alley. And then the next one we're gonna use is the Chocolates Palette by Julia's Place. For a while now, I've been looking for a nice uh, palette that I can just do with like a natural eye look with. Listen, as a melanated girl as myself, that thing is hard because the in other natural eye look palettes, most of the time, the, the darkest brown shade does nothing for me. It either disappears or it makes me look ashy and I'm, we're not playing that game. So, it used to be so difficult to try to do like a natural eye look without having to do 16 different steps and use 8,000 different palettes. But, thankfully with this, real nice and easy. So we're gonna kick it off with a nice fluffy brush and we're gonna go into this model shade. I think that's what this what the shade is called, but it's this shade right here. We're gonna go into that shade and we're just gonna put that all over the eyelid as a nice little transition shade. Yeah, another fact about me, I graduated college in 2017 and I got my bachelor's and I got my bachelor's degree in music business. On my degree, it says music business. In hindsight, at school, I did a co-major with music business and business administration. And then I had a minor in arts administration. Now I know that sounds like a lot. That sounds like I was crying every day at school, which I wasn't. I was crying some days because, you know, school. But 
I basically just have a business degree with two concentrations being music and art because they all overlap with like the same business classes so I just needed to take those business classes and then have my designated classes for learning the music industry and learning how to run a gallery and stuff like that so that was my degree which explains to people who don't know me why I always talk about music on my channel because I love music dearly I love the arts dearly but um music specifically is like my 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 thing I guess however let's let's not get it twisted I'm not musically inclined mm -mm. I can't sing I got too much nasal allergies to try to be singing anywhere I can't play any instruments all that well I learned how to play the guitar in college and I played the flute and the clarinet in high school, but neither of those were really, I was in no prodigy in none of them. So playing music, not my thing. Same with art. Creating art, drawing, painting, sculpting, neither one of those my, are my things. But I do enjoy being around artistry, so... The logistics sides and the business sides are always something that speak to me more than being the artist, if that makes sense. Alright, we're going to move to the Juvia's Place palette now. We're going to get a more tapered, I don't know if that's going to show up. We get a more tapered brush, go into this more red brown shade, and we're just going to put that slightly below where we put the transition shade. And I'll, uh, I asked on Instagram, which you can follow me on Instagram. My name is underscore being Sabrina underscore. Um, I asked on Instagram for people to send me some questions. So somebody asked me what was my favorite part of being a senior in high school. My favorite part about senior year in high school was knowing I was going to college and I was getting the heck out of this school. <laughs> that was honestly the best. Mainly because I knew I didn't have to do anything at school anymore for the most part. Like, I went to a primarily white high school, so by my senior year, I was sick of all these people. Granted, these people weren't rude. There's some decent people at my high school. Most of them nowadays are Trump supporters, so we're gonna. We're gonna slide right past that. Um, but yeah, most of the people in my school were decent. None of them, I had had like no issues with anybody at my school and I had a fair amount of friends. So it wasn't like I was an outcast and everybody hated me at my school, which is why I was so excited to leave. It was just, I was excited to leave. I was over these people. I seen these people for, you know, a variety amount of years. I knew I was, I was just over it. <laughs> so it was the comfort of knowing that I can just not be involved with these people anymore was my my favorite part another question i'm moving on to the center of my lid we're just gonna take the same color that we used as my transition and just put it on the rest of my lid next question somebody asked me was whether or not i am a cat or dog person a hundred percent both <laughs> well that's a lie i am definitely more of a dog person than i am a cat person but i am in love with both animals um, I plan to own both animals in my lifetime and I hope and pray that they will be best friends like them cute little dog and cat videos where they like sleeping on each other and such I want that for my my family <laughs> lastly for the eyeshadow we're just gonna put on a little glitter but this is a more uh, subdued glitter there's two glitters in this Juvia's Place palette um, it's these two shades let's see One's more cool toned and one's more warm toned. We're gonna go with the warm toned one because that's the kind of vibe I'm going with today. Um, I'm gonna just use our little finger finger here and go a little dabby dab on my face because I'm gonna have to use my mirror. Also, if you're using a brush to do your glitter, it's always best to do a little tap, tap, tap instead of like a swipe, swipe because the glitter is just going to go everywhere else other than the place that you're trying to put it in. All right, so we're done with the eyes right about now. Next, we're going to move on to the rest of my face because the way I do my makeup is I do my eyeshadow first, 
do the rest of my face and then I finish up the eyes and then everything's complete. So we're going around the face. We're going to prime our face with the e.l.f. Let's see. With the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And then we're just going to take a little bit and just do a little dabby dabs. <laughs> Let's move on to a next question, which someone said, what's your favorite genre of music? I don't have an official favorite genre of music. I'm very much an all music kind of girl. So my, my Spotify playlist has a variety of genres, but if I, if we were being like fully honest, my genre, my favorite genre is pop. Before I get into that, I'm gonna tell you what foundations I'm using. I use two foundations. Let's see, this is the NYX Born to Glow in the shade Walnut, which is 22.3. And this is the Milani Scream Queen foundation in the shade 531 Mahogany. Now I mix the both of them, one because the finish of the both of them together is stunning. This has a stunning finish on its own, and so does this. But this is definitely giving you your really dewy and moisturized and this is giving you just kind of like natural satin face, I guess you can say. So I like pairing this one with this to give this one a little bit more of a glow and it just all around goes very nicely together. But yeah, pop, I would say is my like official uh, favorite genre, mainly because pop can essentially be anything. You know, you could have pop rock, you can have pop R&B, you can have pop hip hop. You can have pop country, like anything that essentially plays on like the top 40 radio stations is essentially pop in some way, shape or fashion because pop just means popular music and it could literally be anything. Pop in itself is technically its own uh, designated stylistically genre um, because there's like bubblegum pop and you know, like real real radio friendly pop that you know will be on like the top 40 stations. That's why I kind of like pop because it just kind of encompasses anything and everything. It's just like the popular styles and songs of that genre. Speaking of music, we're going to the next music related question which someone said what are some of your favorite artists and um, most of them are like I said gonna be pop artists because I like pop. <laughs> It's hard for me to pick favorite artists because I listen to so many different people. I consider people who are my favorite as people who whenever they release new music, I'm fiending to go look for it and listen to it immediately. So favorites would be Rihanna, clearly point blank, period. Rihanna's queen, I love her. Um, it'd be Rihanna, Ariana Grande. She's also one of my favorites. And then One Direction, if you know me, I'm obsessed with One Direction. I love One Direction with all my heart. They're no longer together uh, right about now, but One Direction is definitely still uh, my favorite. Hip hop wise, I don't think I have favorite artists. I don't listen to hip hop and rap enough for really to me have a favorite, but if we're going by the category of who do I listen to uh, whenever they release new music right away, I'd say it'd be like Big Sean and Amine. Those are the only two artists that I really actively listen to their albums. So those two are probably like my favorite hip hop artists. Next, we're gonna go back with my concealer and conceal. Once again, we're using the Milani one. Also, back to the favorite artists before I move on to the next question. I know probably some of y'all are like, Beyonce ain't one of your favorite artists. Listen, I like Beyonce. I think she's magnificent. I think she's wonderful. However, I just don't have a real deep connection with Beyonce. Like, I love her. She's, and she's great. And she deserves all accolades that ever come to her. She's just not like my personal favorite artist. I just be like, Beyonce came out with new music. That's cool. Let me go listen to it. And then like, you know, I'm not in no like, well, if Rihanna came up with music, I'm already pulling out Spotify the day she announces it. Like, that's the kind of hype I will be. I just don't have that same kind of hype for Beyonce. Uh, next question, somebody asked, do I believe in astrology? And I don't necessarily believe in astrology, meaning like I don't really 
apply it to my life. That's not the belief that I use to kind of guide and look into my life. Um, but to me, I believe astrology exists. I believe that method of looking at your life exists. But I think, like, I think it all kind of falls into the same category as, like, religion. Maybe not religion, but, like, spirituality and, like, crystals and, like, you know, the whole energy kind of like the chakras and all that I feel like that all goes into the same category because I mean astrology has been around for ages at least to my knowledge people have been looking at the stars to try to help them with things since like early civilization so to me I don't think it just doesn't exist it's just whether or not you believe in it and I think that that belief is all the same thing it's just whatever you're using to tap into that energy belief so whether it's the crystals or whether it's the stars or whether it's your body and energy and chakras and stuff like that it's just the same thing it's just whatever you're using to tap into it if that makes sense we're gonna move on to setting my concealer with some laura mercier powder this is the translucent that's not the word this is the translucent translucent yes this is the translucent medium deep powder um, I just take a little bit of that and, you know, do a little dabby dabs. Um, while I do that, let's move on to the next question. And somebody said, three things you value in a friendship. Which I think is a lovely question. Um, three things I value in a friendship. I value honesty, which, I mean, that makes sense because... Don't nobody want to deal with a bunch of liars. But, you know, some people like dealing with a bunch of liars. So, I like honesty. But I like the honesty that is kind and not malicious. Like, I don't want nobody being like, well, I'm just telling it like it is. But you telling it like it is in such a rude way that, like, no one really wants to be around you. I'm very much like an overthinker. But I'd rather someone tell me up front than just kind of beat around the bush and do that thing so I value like honesty in a kind way but I also value um comfort I want to be I if if we're friends I want to feel like I'm comfortable around you and I don't feel like I need to put on a persona or you know have to be worrying about whether or not we about to be doing 8,000 things. I'm very much an introvert. I like being at home. So I like the comfort of knowing that I my energy levels are going to be okay with you. And I know that's not going to be draining now. Like I said, I'm an introvert. So everybody technically drains me at some point or another. It's just a matter of how quickly you can drain me. Um, so that level of comfort, I very much value in a friendship and then being reliable knowing that if anything was to happen I can count on you to try your best to be there for me I can call you and you'd be like all right Serena, I'll be there in 10 minutes or all right Serena I'm gonna go pick you up I got you like that kind of uh reliability which also goes with the comfort level so we're gonna move on to powder I'm gonna set my rest of my face we use we're using this two match uh let's see I'm going to use this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. This is in the shade C10, which is Espresso. This is a cool tone powder, and I am not a cool tone girl by the least, but it balances out the rest of my face. The center of my face is more yellow, and then the rest of my face is more red, and I like to balance the two, so I always usually go with neutral foundations, and then my powder is cool tone just because... Whenever I put the concealer on, it ends up being more golden. And so it's all about balance here. We're trying to make sure my face looks like an enhanced version of my natural face. So we're going to do everything to make it look like my natural face. Another question somebody asks while I move on to bronzer slash contour is, what do I watch on YouTube? Which is a good question because I have my own YouTube channel. So obviously I watch YouTube heavily. Um, by the way, we're using this Makeup Revolution Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in Deep Dark. Main things I watch on YouTube. I watch uh, makeup videos, obviously, because I like makeup. I also watch reaction channels. I very much enjoy reaction channels when it's like reacting to music or reacting to movies and TV shows. Commentary channels and like video essay kind of channels where they talk about a subject and kind of go into the complexities of it and like what it means for society and stuff like that which is 
kind of how I ended up basing my channel off of. Oh, specific people that I watch, I like watching Zach Campbell. Uh, he does reactions to like music. I like watching AJ. She does also reactions to music. I like watching Reacts by Ash. I like watching Jackie Aina, Alyssa, and Arnell. I also watch the Philip DeFranco show every day because that's my dose of news. I've watched way too many YouTubers. I YouTube is definitely like my main source of entertainment besides like TV and such. Next we're gonna move, oh, before actually we do that, we're gonna, since we put all this powder on my face, we're gonna use the Morphe setting spray. This is the luminous version. I like the regular version better, but I haven't finished this bottle yet, so we get in our money's worth here. Um, we're just gonna use that to make sure my face doesn't look too powdery and keep our glow that we're trying to achieve. This is the e.l.f. primer blush, I think it's called. This is in the shade Always Spicy. It's like a terracotta brown coral situation. Another question somebody asks is, what is your life goals slash career goals? Now my life goals is the easy one. I just, I'm just trying to be happy. <laughs> Period point blank, I'm just trying to be happy. I'm trying to make it to the end of my life and be like, yes, I had a good life. I'm very much trying to get into the mindset of living a, living my life instead of like surviving my life. I want to have fun. Like I'm not trying to just be sad and paying bills all all my whole entire life. We're not doing that. So my like life goal is to just be happy whether or not I have whether or not I'm married or have kids or whatever. I just kind of want to be looking at the end of my life and being like, oh, this was so much fun. Like that kind of situation. And then my career goals, we're going to move into another blush. This is the Patricia Bright and Makeup Revolution Face Palette brush. This is in the shade Dust to Dawn. And it just has like a highlighter. Oops, there we go. It has like a highlighter, a contour, a bronzer situation, and then a blush. We're just going to use this blush here and then yeah my career goals um I don't I can't be too specific because I don't fully know myself I just know I want to work in the arts whether it be music whether it be fine art performing arts who knows I just want to work in the arts industry um if we're talking like pipe dream like if I had a million dollars what would I do with my life I personally own a community arts center I'd love to have one of those I just like a place where people can come take some art lessons take some dance lessons have a place where they can just kind of be creative um, and it's like open to the community so that's something I would love for me but we'll see how life takes me Hopefully I could get there. Also, we're using the bronzer shade to just kind of shape my nose some. We're not contouring our nose because I like the shape of my nose. We just giving it back some shape because, you know, we put foundation and concealer all over it. We don't want to get it lost in the sauce. Lastly, for brush, we're just going to use the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil. Now, this is technically a highlighter, but I use it as a blush. As you will see, it is basically a berry red so I just like dabbing that on top of my blush just to give it a little a little razzle dazzle this is pretty pigmented so I tried to do very light handedness because it can get real crazy real quick <laughs> Last thing for the face, we're just going to throw on some highlighter. We're going to use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Chocolate Geode. Now this is a wonderful shade for us uh, melanated girlies out here. This thing is surely pigmented so you want to go light handed with this one as well. be answering questions out here um we're also just gonna throw a little highlighter in my brows oh we haven't done my brows yet all right pause let's do my brows um look at me about to forget doing my brows we are using the urban decay urban decay brow blade this is in the shade dark drapes i love this because it has two sides it has like a pencil side and then it has like a felt brush side but yeah next question is what am I currently watching on TV? Now, 
as I said before, YouTube is my main entertainment. So I go through my YouTube videos for the day. And then if I feel like watching like a show or something, I'll go watch that. But for the most part, I am not actively watching any like new show. I'm really terrible with TV shows. I, I just like to rewatch my favorite TV shows instead of actively watching a new one. So I'm not actively watching any new TV show right about now, but I will tell you my favorite TV shows. I, with all my heart, love Glee. That's one of my favorite shows of all time. It's just, everything about it is great. It's the teen drama, it's the music, it's the singing. It's just the perfect amount of everything for me and I just love it dearly. Another one of my favorite shows is The Office. That show is hilarious. What else do I thoroughly enjoy watching? Adventure Time. I am also a very much a cartoon girl. I love me a cartoon, whether it be kids show, adult show. So Adventure Time is definitely one of my favorite shows. I'm currently re-watching it and catching up on some of the episodes that I missed. Um, Steven Universe is also fantastic. It took me a while to like actually start and watch the show but once I did I was like wow this show is great I love it so much the three types of shows that I usually always end up watching are usually like cartoons mainly like kids cartoons so like Teen Titans Go Adventure Time Amazing Adventures of Gumball that kind of that kind of vibe um I love me some crime shows you know Criminal Minds Law and Order SVU, all that kind of things. And then I also enjoy comedy shows. Only the ones that are like Parks and Rec in the Office. And then lastly, teen drama shows because I don't know why, but I have a strong obsession with anything teen drama. I think it's always just so funny. Now let's put the highlight on my brow. move back to the eyes real quick we're just gonna smoke out our bottom lash line and we're gonna use that same brush that I just used that has now disappeared another question somebody asked me was what are my some of my hobbies I don't really have hobbies I'm very much a uh, I like obsess over something for like a little bit and then I forget about it <laughs> kind of girls it's my main hobby would be makeup because I like uh, trying new things with my makeup and trying to do different cool looks. As a child I used to dance like go to dance school and like do all of that stuff so I love that and then in high school I did a little bit of cheerleading because I like dancing and there's always like a dance routine in the cheerleading and then in college I joined our like step dance team so I used to do that. I don't dance much anymore mainly because I've just kind of lost, lost kind of like my confidence of dancing in front of people. Continuing with the eyes, we're going to put some eyeliner on now. And I use two eyeliners. They're both essentially the same. They're both from NYX. They're both the Epic Ink. This one's the Epic Ink Liner and this is Epic Wear Liner. One's, they're both the same liner. One's just in a pen and the other one's in a brush. I used the pen just to give me the shape and then I filled it in with the brush. Another question somebody asked was if I could live anywhere where would I live? It like even with all the nonsense that's going on in the United States, I don't see myself permanently living anywhere else. However, I would love to live in London for like a year. I think it'd be so cool to live in London for like a period of time because that way I can get into the London scene and then I could also just hop on a train or a plane and go to all of the other European islands really quickly. Also, I realized I forgot to mention, I don't, I guess this is not something that I tell people off, off, off the cuff. I just thought of it seeing how I was thinking about living in another country. I could technically go and live in Trinidad and Tobago because both my parents are from Trinidad and Tobago. They both uh, immigrated here at uh, different times of their lives. So my siblings are technically like first generation children who uh, lived in the United States. 
So it's like, I could technically go and live there because it's a beautiful island and, you know, sunshine and beaches and all that great stuff. But I've heard enough stories to know that I shouldn't be living there. Trinidad is a nice place to visit, but maybe not live. No offense to Trinidad, but you know. entirely sure if my wings are even I'm never certain whether or not my wings are even but I try my best to get it as even as possible and go about my day because I don't be having the patience to sit there all day and try to make sure they're the both same angle mm -mm. that's good enough for me let's throw on some mascara mascara I currently use is this Maybelline the falsies lash lift or whatever it's called yeah that's what it's called um, truthfully, you can use any mascara, at least I have small lashes. You can barely see them when I don't got makeup on. So for the most part, all mascara looks the same on me. So I just kind of usually stick with my nice little $10 drugstore ones. Like I've had a Smashbox one that was pretty good. I've had the better, the Too Faced Better Than Sex one. I've had the Benefit Roller Lash. And all of those are like $20. And those are all good. Like they're not bad mascara, but I mean... If I could get almost the same, uh, if I could get almost the same result with like a $10 mascara, I'm going to do that. Also why I truly don't fully care about mascara like that is because I'm almost always, I'm almost always wearing lashes anyways. So mascara doesn't really stress me out or nothing like. Speaking of lashes, the lashes we're going to use today is some Ardell ones. All of the lashes that I ever put on my eye are going to be Ardell ones unless I find some like nicer ones, but I love the Ardell ones dearly. Those give me like a real natural one and it always fits my eye. I have relatively small eyes and I also have hooded lids. So I can't just be putting on any lashes on my face because the really big ones will take up my whole entire eye and then I look crazy. I'm not in the business of looking crazy. The ones we're going to use today is this Ardell Baby Demi ones. These are my most natural looking ones because they're only slightly longer than my actual natural lashes. And then um, this Ardell also has a line called Naked Lashes, which is this one. My lashes are upside down in this one. But this line, I love every lashes in this line because they all just look so wonderful and natural and just great. So if you need some lashes, I say hit up Ardell ones. I've been doing my makeup since basically I went to college and I used to be terrible at lashes. Like I used to just not even bother with lashes because they used to irritate me to no end. Nowadays, I'm very much better at putting on my lashes. Nowadays, they probably take me like five to 10 minutes to put on. I don't always get it right the first time because lashes are finicky, but for the most part, I'm usually pretty good with them. I like these specifically because it just looks like I have my natural lashes, but just like with some really, really good mascara on. And that's the effect that I'd like to go for. I don't have any more questions from Instagram, so I guess I'll just talk to y'all. <laughs> I like the combination of having my makeup done and like a really cool outfit because it makes me feel top notch. Like it really makes you feel like you got your life together. Last thing we're gonna do with my face and eyes and such, we're just gonna tight line my waterline, meaning we're just gonna put some black eyeliner right in my lash line, at least my bottom lash line, just to give me a more smoky look. This is the Fenty Beauty Fly Pencil. This is in Cousin Black. Lastly, let's do my lips. Um, So I'm gonna tell you some of my favorite glosses while I also put on. I always start with the brown lip liner because the outskirts of my lip is darker than the inner parts of my lips. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta match it. I specifically use this one because most lip liners don't come in a shade that's dark enough to match the outside of my lips. Or at least dark enough to show up on my lips, I should say. So I always just use this one and then I always add one of my other ones on top. Just to balance it because this is quite cool toned. I want my lips to look like now. And then we're just gonna take this Makeup Revolution one because this one's a little more reddish. Um, and then, like I said, favorite gloss is now any of the Fenty Beauty gloss bombs. I love them. I have, I had the original one, but that is like, I mean, empty. So I need to re-up on that one. But I have the clear one, which is called Glass Slipper. And then I have her one that she released last year, early this year, I forget. 
which is called hot chocolate it's just like a brown version to the original gloss balm and you know i love anything that's giving me a nude look so those two are my favorite other two favorite lip glosses that are definitely my purse lip glosses are these milani ones these are the keep it full lip plumping glosses now these are the best milani glosses that they have out these ones are more pigmented than the fenty beauty ones because this one's more like sheer with some glitter and this is more like pigment with some glitter or just pigment um so i usually double up another good one is this makeup revolution one it's called pout bomb i think it's supposed to be like a dupe for like the gloss bomb it's a little more pigmented than gloss bomb and it doesn't have any shimmer but it's a beautiful color um some other fantastic ones is the nyx butter glosses you see i have four i think i have more laying around in my purses but these glosses are definitely the bomb.com they're definitely the most pigmented of my glosses and they don't have any shimmer so these are usually my base glosses which we're going to use today and then just another gloss that's really really great if you're looking for glosses is this essence one it's called shine 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 i can't tell you what color this is because it has faded away that one's also really good sparkly sheer not sticky only like three dollars maybe i think all of the gloss besides the fenty beauty gloss the fenty beauty gloss is like 18 dollars i think but every all the other glosses are under ten dollars we love a deal. So today we are going to maybe use, I think we're going to use my NYX Butter Gloss first and we're going to do the Devil's Food Cake because it's a little more uh, reddish berry-ish. And with that as a base, we're just going to stick hot chocolate on top of it. Fenty just released some more of some more shades of gloss bomb and best belief i will be getting them the gloss bomb ones are just so great because the one they add a little bit of shimmer to it and they add a whole lot of shine and i love me a good shining lip gloss now that my face is essentially complete let me just throw on a better looking shirt and some earrings and take my hair out and come back to you with my final look and we're back and i got on a new shirt I throw on some necklace and some earrings and you know obviously I just took my hair out of ponytail honestly but um this is the final look that's my makeup routine essentially I very much love the finish and look that my face always gets which is why this is my go-to routine because all these products just always end up working well. I hope you enjoyed watching me do my makeup and just getting to know me a little bit more. I don't intend to do too much makeup videos on my channel because that's a lot of pressure that I don't feel like putting on myself. But I will probably continue to do makeup videos here and there just when I see fit and when I feel like it. So stay tuned for that if you like it. But yeah, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Share this video with all your friends. Stay tuned on my channel for all of my other videos that are soon to be coming out and i will see you guys next time and remember please be smart be kind and be safe please go vote oh yes we're getting close to election time please go vote and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys